and the chairman of the party where we are uh, in charge in, in the state, where APC is the governor. Where APC is not the governor or hasn't got the government, the chairman of the party and the acting and the gubernatorial candidate of the party were given that responsibility. And I am satisfied this instruction has been passed down. So please, um, between now and Thursday, we have so much to do. And I think we should again go back on our loyal, committed people in all constituencies, so that if anything happens, we have nobody to blame. Um, we uh, have to tell our constituencies that they have to be patient and must react in a very responsible way by going peacefully to vote again. And that they should depend on the party representatives at each voting unit out of 176,000 voting units. We have all calculated it, and they should be there, those who have been given the responsibility to uh, watch the party's interest. And uh, I do not expect uh, anybody to make any uh, disturbance. I have briefed the law enforcement agencies and the military. They have identified uh, hot spots, flashpoints. They should be prepared to move. They too, we have made uh, as much arrangement as possible and uh, resourceful providers as much as the country can afford it. And that um, anybody who decides to snatch boxes or lead thugs to disturb it, maybe there's the last uh, lawful uh, action you will take. I really give the military and the police <laughs> to be ruthless. We are not going to be blamed that we want to rig election. I want Nigerians to be respected. Let them vote whoever they want across the parties. I'm not, afraid, I'm not afraid of that. I have gone through, as you said, the whole 36 states and Abuja, I went round. I think I have got enough supporters across the country to look after me. So I am going to warn anybody who thinks he has enough influence in his locality to lead a body of facts to snatch boxes or to disturb the voting system. He will do it at the expense of his own life. Thank you very much.